Avalanches are an ever-present risk to backcountry skiers and snowmobilers. In northwest Wyoming, they also pose a threat to heavily traveled roads used by travelers and commuters. More than 50 slide paths have potential to impact highways in the Jackson area, and YDOT avalanche technicians keep an eye on all of them. So we're monitoring those paths, the weather, the snowpack, and determining when a natural avalanche cycle might occur and determining the optimal time to do avalanche control work or just close the road. Fire! Traditionally, large howitzer cannons or explosives were the main tool for avalanche control. YDOT now relies primarily on remotely operated gas detonation systems, new technology which makes the job safer and reduces road closure times. It goes very quickly with the remote infrastructure versus the artillery. Control work is typically performed in early morning hours to minimize impact on travelers and backcountry users. Particularly on Teton Pass, we try to close the road at 3 a.m. And if all goes well and no slides reach the highway, uh, closure can be as short as 30 minutes. The goal is to prevent slides from coming down on open highways carrying traffic. Bring those avalanches down on our terms and not have them hit the highway randomly while traffic is on the road. Reminding you to drive safely and always buckle up. This is Doug McGee reporting.